Next up, finding cigar boxes. You can find these on the Ishika Island, but they spawn pretty much anywhere as far as I understand, but they are a relatively rare spawn. The best way to find these is to search hidden caches. Then when you find these cigar boxes, simply make sure you have a secure backpack so when you extract, you can duplicate these by heading back into the game and extracting again, it'll count another time. So let's go ahead and do that now. But they're not exclusive to hidden caches. You can also find tons of these in jackets lying around the map. And of course, duffel bags, those large grey backpacks or bags that lie around the entire map, they have a quite high spawn rate in those. They don't spawn really at all as loose loot, so those are the only three really simple locations to find it. And should you choose to run around the extremities of the island, searching all of the hidden caches, there's quite a few duffel bags in your way around, so you have a pretty good chance of finding exactly what you're looking for. So we'll start this runoff by looking around hidden caches around the Ishika Island. When you're running around the map, you'll oftentimes find duffel bags lying around everywhere. Also, there's two of them by the ships on the far east side, plus another one or two inland. So running around the outskirts, you'll go through tons and tons of duffel bags and of course hidden caches as well, getting you loose loot and riches as you go. So I'm heading to this bridge here, we'll head to I think the second last pole here on the east side and we should find the hidden cache right here. Looting it, nothing in my case. The next one should be all the way over here, just in the water here, roughly. Swimming across to just next to this submarine and down, we should find this hidden cache, nothing in my case. The next one is located just over here, right next to this little marine refuel station. So heading across to it here and into the water, we should find it just underneath here and cat statue. The next one we'll find on the far east side of the island right about here, with this one being located on the shoreline here, as you can see right here, looting it, nothing unfortunately. The next one is on this south boat here just off to the side in the water so we should find it just about here nothing so the next one is located right up here in the water right up here on these little rocks but i'm pretty sure this is actually almost where we started we started up here so there's this one and one more to get to as you can see it's just about here in the water and we don't have the item we're looking for sadly we'll head to the last one which is just about here located on this little outcrop of rocks and we should hopefully find it here and a cigar box. That's great. We'll grab both of these, head to the final one, which is just about here. But I'm pretty sure we started on this, so we'll go for the extract. Think we've been through this? Yes, we have. This was the first one. Sweet. We've now done a full lap of the island. Let's exfil and you can try again next game. At this point, you could continue heading inland if you don't have something like a secure backpack, but you're pretty much gambling on whatever loot you're bringing in and hoping to get out. So I'd highly recommend cutting your losses and getting out while you can. Tolling in the exfil, let's get out of here. Sweet. There we go. And hey, look at that, two more cigar boxes inside of a bag located all the way on the far east here. They spawn as loose loot all over this island, so you can find it pretty much anywhere, but there are a few locations that have higher spawn rates than others. I just recommend coming in with a secure backpack a few times in and out. Sweet, and there we go, another extract with more items. Now, somewhere else I've heard of having relatively good chances of spawning cigar boxes is pretty much directly under the Ishika castle. Just note that there'll be two juggernauts down here that you need to get rid of, or you'll need to do this very sneakily, but there's a ton of lockers pretty much right next to the dead drop that you can go through and search, and inside of them you'll oftentimes find one, maybe two cigar boxes lying around. On top of this, inside of toolboxes and other loose loot locations, you may find more cigar boxes, but more than likely only really one or two in the lockers and that's pretty much it. It's a high risk, somewhat high reward location, which is definitely worth checking out if you're on a team. If you're solo, I'd probably recommend against coming here. If you spawn on the far southwest side of the island here, a great place to check for cigar boxes is the jacket inside of the free room at the beach house down here. Running in, you'll find a jacket hanging up here, and inside of it, I've oftentimes found cigar boxes inside of it, sometimes one, sometimes two. There's tons of these duffel bags that lie around the entire map and I'd recommend checking pretty much every single one that you come across as well as the same is said for the jackets. I think sometimes found cigar boxes inside of 
tool caches, but definitely nowhere near as often. If we check residentially far northeast side of the map, you'll usually find jackets inside of these buildings. This one here, pretty much for sure, always has cigar boxes in the jacket hanging here, or at least every time that I've bothered to check it. Not to mention, you can find jackets hanging pretty much everywhere inside of buildings around the town here, around the residential area, and of course up here in the far north by the farms here too. There's a handful of places that have jackets and inside of them a pretty good chance of finding what you're looking for. Over here by the northern entrance to the waterways, one more jacket hanging here, and I think there's a few more inside of these rooms around the north here. For example, one hiding behind this door here, and one over here. There's a pretty high spawn rate for these here. Anyways, you get the idea. It's super simple to find these cigar boxes are just incredibly rare for no reason, but at least when you collect a few, you can practically duplicate them and have these missions done in no time. As far as I know, they only spawn on a Sheikah, so don't bother looking anywhere else for them. And that's really it. So thank you for watching, my name is Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!